Hello, what's up you guys? Today I'll show you how to build a universal tree farm so you can farm every tree in Minecraft besides the dark oak tree. This farm produces over 9,000 logs an hour and unfortunately for you bedrock players, it doesn't work on bedrock. I'm so sorry. But for those of you that play Java, Stick around and I will show you how to build this tree farm, but first let's see how to build it. So the best way to show you how this farm works is actually using it. So all you have to do is, if you're going to use jungle wood or nether wood, flip this lever and then there's a lever up here as well that I will show you when we build it that you'll need to turn off if you want jungle wood. But if, you, if you're just farming any other wood, just flip the lever. This turns on a TNT duplicator. And then we're just gonna come up here. You're gonna have to fill every slot in your inventory besides one with uh, with just any blocks besides bone meal. And then put the sapling you want to farm right there. Flip this lever. This is gonna spit you out some bone meal, just like that. And then you just hold down right click and you are farming trees. So this will work with every tree type I'll show you. We can do spruce wood as well, just like that. It's going to farm them all. You will get extra saplings so you don't run out, and you'll get infinite wood. So like I said, this works up to 9,000 items per hour, and it will work with every tree. So let's say you wanted to do jungle wood. So you're going to come down here, turn it off if you're going to flick any levers. We're going to take this out, put the jungle up there. Can y'all turn off? It takes a second to stop it. So we're gonna put up for jungle wood. Oops, it looks like it's already up. It's supposed to be down. So up for jungle wood, and then you'll just climb the scaffolding, and then this lever over here, you would turn off. Yep. And then we'll just go back down here, flip the TNT duper on, come back up. So we will test it again in survival. It's starting, awesome. Let the first one explode. And this will farm your jungle wood for you. The jungle wood is a little slower, so you won't get exactly 9,000 logs per hour with it, but you'll still you'll still do pretty good. So that's how you do that one. Let's say you wanted to do uh, the crimson or warped nylium. Thank you for turning off. So this one can stay up because you were doing nether wood, but we are going to turn off or turn back on this lever, should I say? We're going to come back down here, and the only thing is you have to replace it with the the item, like the, the nether rack that it needs. So warped fungus, you need to get the warped nylium. Crimson fungus, you need the crimson nylium. But same as jungle wood, this needs to be up. Flip the TNT duper on. You've, you've seen me do this already. You, you understand. Same procedure. Turn that on click and hold both buttons and with this farm you will get the crimson nether warts right there whatever they're called and you will also get the glow uh the glow block whatever it's called you guys know what it's called i don't need to tell you but that is how this farm works let's get in to how to build it before we get started, YouTube tells me only 1% of you are subscribed, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're liking the video, and let's get into what items you need for the farm. Getting back into it, the items that you'll need to build this farm include 3 stacks of building blocks, 51 scaffolding blocks, 13 redstone dust, 7 hoppers, 14 chests, 8 signs, 7 kelp, Six packed ice, you could use regular ice as well, but packed ice is just better. Five observers, five repeaters, four levers, four water buckets, or if you want to use ice blocks, you can do that as well, that you'll just break with your hand. Three trap doors, three pistons, three slabs, they can be any type of slabs. Uh, two obsidian, two redstone torches, one soul sand block, one chain, one dropper, one iron bar, one wooden pressure plate, it needs to be wooden. Uh, let's get back into it. One TNT, one carpet, it can be any color, and then just one dirt block. And if you want to grow the crimson or the uh, warped trees, the two nether ones, you're going to need the associated blocks. So you'd need the warped nylium or the crimson nylium if you want to build with those ones. But let's get into actually building the farm. 
So to start out the farm, we're just gonna build a simple 12 by 13 box. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and then this way we'll go 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then go ahead, fill out the whole side so you get a square, which I guess technically isn't a square, but you know, same thing. And then we're gonna go ahead, put some blocks in the corner just like that. And then on the shorter 12 sides, we're gonna go ahead and build up a wall just like this. So we'll have this rounded corner and then come around here and then round that again. Do that on the other side so you get your rounded corner, place it all along and just like that. And then in each corner, we're gonna place water on top of that block that we placed, just like that. And then in the center, you should get a little two space here, just like that. Break out those blocks. And then the side that you want to be your front like this, go ahead, towards the center block right here, break that and put one there. Then we're gonna go down three blocks, one, two, three, and then dig towards the center. Once you get to the center, you'll see light just like that. Let's go on to the next steps. Okay, so the next steps, we're gonna build our collection system. So coming down here, we're gonna place down six pack dice. So one, two, three, four, five, six, leaving one block there. Place those down. And then on that last block, place a soul sand. Then on this last pack dice, we're gonna place a sign there and one there. Over, down at this end, place the water so it flows this way. And then we're gonna go up, just get out of there. And then above this block, we're gonna place three more. So one, two, three. That should be four tall now, and then that was your ground. Then go ahead, build up a little tower, just like this all around to that same height. Place in a water bucket down here, fall down, we're going to place up our seven kelp, just like that. Then we're going to go back down and destroy it. This will make a bubble column, so stuff will start flying up like that. Then on the front center block, place a chain towards there. And then we are going to go ahead and place our carpet right above the water. And let's get into the next step. So next, we're going to make our bone meal dispensing station. We're going to go ahead and put your pressure plate right there and then place a temporary block just like that, two up, and then we want a dropper facing downwards. Not like that, facing downwards like that. You gotta make sure it's a dropper and not a dispenser. Then above that, place an observer with the dot going upwards with redstone dust on top of that. Then we are gonna surround this pressure plate with blocks just like that on all sides except for the one with the carpet there. And then, we're gonna place a lever right here on there, flick it on, that should click once, and then if we flick it back off, it should constantly click. We're gonna go ahead, put bone meal in there, and then put a hopper facing into it with a chest right there. You can put extra bone meal there so you don't run out while you're farming, and then that's how you get your bone meal. So let's get into the item collection system. So one thing before we get into the collection system, I actually forgot you need to put uh, iron bar right there. But then we're gonna go over here. We're gonna place some temporary blocks on those three right there. Place down a chest, make them double chests, and then go below that, and we're gonna place more double chests. So you should have six double chests in total. Then remove these temporary blocks and place down three hoppers going into the bottom ones and three hoppers going into the top ones, just like that. Then we're gonna go here, place down a sign there with two more facing it so just like that and then again on the same side we are going to do that again and then place one final sign right there we can go ahead break this block now and the water should flow so your items will go down come back up here and into the chests so let's get into the technical aspects of actually building the redstone okay so this redstone truly isn't complicated but I'll show you exactly how to do it. And I'm just using some concrete to make it stand out a little bit more. So diagonal from here, from your water pillar, place a block just like that. Then place two diagonal each direction, just like that. And then skip a block here and place one there, skip a block there, place a block there. Then we're gonna go ahead, put redstone dust right in that corner with a repeater facing in this direction on just normal tick delay. And then we're gonna put one here on three tick delay. On the opposite side of these, go ahead, place redstone torches just like that. And then redstone dust right there. And then just 
Next to the redstone dust, we're gonna place a lever there and a lever here. This lever will be for if you want jungle trees and it will need to face up if you want jungle trees or any of the nether woods. Let's just put up for jungle trees and then the nether wood as well. Just so we remember, up for jungle and nether. Then we're gonna go ahead and place down three more repeaters here, all of them on four tick delay. So just like that, we put one tick delay there, three ticks delay here, and then four ticks just like that. And then I wanna make sure that I'm not missing anything, so I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I'm very glad I checked because there is in fact a redstone dust there. And as you can see, oh, this is going, so make sure we turn that on just to stop it because we don't want it going off while we're building. Then we are gonna put a trap door here, make sure that it wiggles off that block. Then we're gonna place one scaffolding there, one across, and then we're gonna go up 37 blocks from this. So 37 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. There we go. So we go up 37 blocks. And then let's go on to the next step when you get up here. Continuing on at the top of the scaffolding, we're going to place five more going towards the center. So one, two, three, four, five. Come out over here. And then on the this side of it, we're going to go ahead and place a block there. And then one over here. It might help to place a temporary one right here. We're going to place an observer where its face is looking at here. And then you get the redstone dot on this side. We're going to place a block there. Destroy our temporary block. And then place a trap door that wiggles on that block. We're going to go ahead and place a lever there. This one is going to control the jungle trees. And you want the lever off for jungle trees. So put it on right here. Then put a temporary block there with an observer again facing this trap door. He's staring at it with the redstone dot. Destroy that block. We're going to place one, two, three with redstone dust on all of them. And then a piston facing towards this lever. So it's going to go this way. And it should look like this for you. Then on this last trap door, we're going to place seven more going up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So going up here, let's continue on the last couple steps. So to finish off our redstone, we're up here. This is the seventh block. Go down to the, whoa, don't fall down. <laughs> Go down to this second to last scaffolding and place a block on the right again. Then place six more after that, going this way again. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Coming here, place two more towards the center and then one block right there. So it should look like that from your scaffolding. Come back to this last scaffolding, place an observer looking into it with the redstone dot out, place a block behind that, and then a piston facing this way towards this side of this. We're gonna place an observer with the dot facing this and the face looking out away from the blocks. Then on the other side of the observer, place TNT. Please be very careful, don't blow yourself up. Then skip a block and place a piston facing towards the TNT. We're gonna build up blocks on either side of that. Then build up another blocks there so it looks like a little tunnel. Place water up here, then place a top slab so it should be waterlogged like that. We're gonna place a block above the observer and then next to it, and then we're gonna place down five redstone. So one, two, three, four, five, actually six. I can't count apparently. Six redstone in a line just like that. This is the end of the redstone and we have just two more steps that we need to complete. Okay, now to build the actual planting area. Go down to this bottom two area and then place a block closer to the whole build in that area. Build up three more, so one, two, three, just like that. And then we're gonna place a permanent block right here. Delete those ones right there, and then place a dirt block above it. That's where we'll plant the trees. Then we're gonna go up one and over, up and over, an obsidian block there, so just diagonal. And then two out and one up for the other obsidian, just like that. And then the last step is on these walls that we built up, we're gonna place two more blocks just like that. We're gonna leave the 13 wide sides short, so this is fine, but then again over here, two more blocks in total. 
So once you complete that, this is the entire tree farm done. So if you guys liked the video, please hit that like button, subscribe to see more videos from me, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.